And I'm happy to say that I'm hopeful that today we can with this. This is an image of the rover Perseverance slung beneath the descent stage, its propulsion backpack, as it is being lowered to the surface of Mars. You can see the dust kicked up by the rover's engines. We're probably about two meters or so above the surface of Mars. We're still checking the timing of this image. It's just hot off the press. You can see the mechanical bridles that hold the uh, uh, rover underneath the descent stage. There's three straight lines heading down to the top deck. Uh, this image was acquired by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, or MRO, um, one of our orbiters uh, that's orbiting around Mars. Um, you can see here in the uh, zoomed in part of the image uh, in the upper right, uh, our spacecraft uh, with a fully inflated parachute um, and hanging underneath it, our protective entry capsule. So speaking of our, our target uh, in Jezero Crater, uh, I have another image to share with folks, um, if we could put that up. Uh, this was an image captured by our rear hazard avoidance camera. Uh, so this is looking backwards from the Perseverance rover's perspective. Uh, when I look at this image, uh, first of all, I feel a great sense of relief. <laughs> And uh, second of all, uh, I see a landing site uh, that looks relatively safe, uh, free of boulders, uh, free of cliffs, uh, free of great slopes. Yeah, sure. So, so there are a couple of things that we've, we've looked at and thought about already with these rocks. And of course, these are just our first impressions. Uh, and so we, we have many more observations we need to make about these. But when we think about these holes or bugs that we see in the rock, um, and, and depending on a, a sedimentary or volcanic interpretation, these holes or bugs can mean different things. And, and so having holes like this in, our, in a volcanic rock is not uncommon. Um, as a lava solidifies into a, an actual basaltic rock, 